as you're recovering. It may be painful to say no to a lot of opportunities and you know, spend less time doing the things you like doing, but you have to understand that you're postponing the things you like to do in order to do the things that you love to do. Hey guys, how's it going? Miguel here with CFS Recovery. In this video, I wanna talk about the mindset that you need to have when approaching recovery and the two approaches that you have to have specifically. Now, I was talking about this with one of the members in the, the private Facebook group or community of Thrivers, and he mentioned that you need to be somewhat of a parent to your body during the recovery. And what that means is your brain is like an upset child. So there are gonna be times when you need to put it in its place and, you know, tell it to calm down. And there are other times when you're gonna to need to push your brain outside of its comfort zone. So I just want you to picture yourself as you know a parent. Maybe you're a parent right now or maybe you're not a parent, but you need to be a parent to yourself, to your brain. And like I said, there are times when you're gonna to need to push it outside its comfort zone. For me, I had to start understanding that I wasn't my thoughts and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't my beliefs. And there were a lot of times I had to tell myself no, brain, you're jumping to conclusions, you're coming up with all these things that aren't true. And I had to catch myself thinking of all these irrational things. And you need to come from a place of, you know, that parent-like mentality that, sure, there are gonna be times when it's gonna be tough, where you're gonna have to tell your brain the opposite of what it's thinking, what it wants to do. But you also need to do it from a place of caring understanding that this is gonna be good for it in the long term. So just think of a child throwing a tantrum, right? The child doesn't get what he wants or maybe he wants a certain thing and he really wants things to go his way. He's gonna throw a temper tantrum. He's gonna you know, scream and shout and kick, but you as a parent, you have to be the bigger person and the more mature person and not react to that. If a child was throwing a fit and all of a sudden you as a parent are getting thrown off and you start reacting with more anger or more frustration, then it only makes the situation worse. You have to take that child and calm it down and you have to take charge of the situation. It's the same thing for recovery. A lot of people, they become almost like the child throwing the tantrum or they'll lose control of the situation. So you need to actually take control of the situation and really grab it grab the situation by the horns and be the parent of the situation. In addition to taking control, you need to be responsible and know what's best. The only way to do that is to educate yourself about what's going on with the body, you know, understanding why things are happening, what are the triggers, what are things that will help you through crashes and setbacks and adjustment periods and how you're going about these things. You need to coach yourself in a sense, because even if you have all the external help and everybody telling you exactly what you need to do, like I do on this channel, you won't be putting your foot down when your body wants to do things a certain way or when your brain starts thinking all these thoughts. You won't be putting your foot down and being like, hey, listen, we're not gonna think about that stuff. We're not gonna be all negative today. We're gonna override that with these thoughts instead. So there's a lot of responsibility that comes with it. Think of a parent, you know, there's a lot of tough decisions they have to make from their perspective, right? So that the child mentality from the child's point of view versus the parent's point of view, they're two very different things. So you need to be very responsible in you know, how you're dealing with the symptoms and how you're dealing with your body, especially how you're progressing. If you're constantly going out and trying to increase activity way too fast, every time you feel good, you're just gonna be getting the same results. So having that parent-like mentality in terms that you need to be in control of the situation take control, you need to be very responsible, and you need to make the tough decisions that you know is gonna lead to better things down the road. Sure, it may be painful to sit back and watch the world go by as you're recovering. It may be painful to say no to a lot of opportunities and you know, spend less time doing the things you like doing, but you have to understand that you're postponing the things you like to do in order to do the things that you love to do things like you know traveling or spending more time with family, with friends, things like that. So think of it in that sense. As a parent, they know what's best for the child. They know even though it's gonna cause a child to throw a fit and throw um, and put up resistance in the moment down the road, it's gonna help that child develop into a better person, into a 
more patient person, a more understanding person. But essentially, you just have to be the parent that is there for the child. So you also want to be compassionate towards yourself. You know, every time you, know, you hit a wall or every time you have a setback or an adjustment period, every time symptoms flare up, it's very easy to get down on yourself and tell yourself these bad things like, man, why can't I get it right? Why do I keep screwing up? Why do I keep doing this to myself? And it's so easy to fall into that trap of that victim mentality as well and then piling on more negative thoughts and emotions on that. But you as a parent, you need to be compassionate towards yourself and understanding and tell yourself it's okay. You didn't get it this time. You're probably not gonna get it the next time, but it, it's okay. Just keep trying and keep getting back up. So it's that compassion component as well that makes a very big difference versus you know, if, you, if it's a child mentality, it's a lot more immature and you, you, there's a lot more frustration. There is a lot more anger at yourself for not succeeding. And there's a lot of anger for failing. So be that parent, be compassionate, be responsible and take control of the situation to redirect yourself into making the right decisions that are not necessarily the easiest decisions to make right now, but the right decisions for the long run. I remember when I was growing up, there were a lot of things I wanted. I would always ask my mom and my dad if they could buy me this thing or this thing. And most of the time, you know, they didn't just give it to me. I had to actually earn it. I had to do something in order to get it. And I always knew it worked that way. If they were to just give me what I wanted right away, then it wouldn't make me the person I am today. And, you know, there were a lot of values that doing that instilled in me that I had to work hard to get what I want, that you get what you deserve and that in order to really appreciate things, you have to earn them and work for them in order to be grateful. Because all the times in my life when, people, when things have just been handed to me, I wasn't as grateful. I, I wasn't able to appreciate them as much. And it helped me develop my character. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're, this whole situation that you're in, yeah, it seems very hard right now. You know, it doesn't even seem very hard. It is very hard. It's extremely hard and difficult and it seems almost impossible but it's developing your character so most of all you need to be there for yourself you are your biggest support system yes sometimes it's great to lean on other people or resources for support but at the end of the day you are there with yourself 24 7 365 days a year for the rest of your life you are there with you so be compassionate toward yourself and be that parent who's responsible and actually helps you get to that recovery. Another thing too to realize is you think about babies who always, you know, throw tantrums and, and do crazy things to try to get what they want. They throw food on the floor. They do things for attention, right? If the parent doesn't do a good job of training them and changing their ways and, you know, really just helping mentor them and develop their character, then, you know, they'll just continue doing what they think they know it's best, but you just watching these videos and educating yourself, you're absorbing this new knowledge that you didn't know before. So you actually need to apply it. It's the same thing with a parent teaching a child, right? The child doesn't know what it doesn't know. Just like your old self doesn't know what your old self doesn't know. Like it doesn't know what it's missing out on, but you today, you're learning all this new information. So now you need to go back and apply it to your old self. I hope that makes sense. This is a little bit of a shorter video, but it was a great analogy that somebody posted in our group. Shout out to Matthew. When I saw this, it, it just made a lot of sense. And you know me, I always like breaking down things into analogies just to help you guys paint a picture. And let me know what other topics you want me to cover. Just comment down below. I read everything or you can email me or message me on Instagram. Let me know what you want me to cover because there are hundreds of different videos I could talk about. It's hard to choose which ones would resonate with you guys most, at least in the moment. So let me know, comment down below, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. So that way you get notified every time I post. And if you haven't already join our Facebook community of thrivers, I'll put the link in the description below. Join us on this journey where we're all working towards thriving health. And remember you are just one mind shift away from living a life without chronic pain and fatigue. I'll see you in the next video.